Over three and a half million product sales are made every single day on Alibaba. But in 2024, still a decent portion of that are completely counterfeit purchases and leave the buyer left without a product, without their money, and scrambling in their business. So I'm gonna go through in this quick video how you can really master Alibaba purchasing, how to identify the suppliers you wanna work with, and how to really protect yourself and your business from getting scammed. If you enjoyed this video and wanna learn more about how to use Amazon to build an e-commerce business that could replace your nine to five, make sure to check the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you are notified anytime we release a new video. If you're familiar with the FBA University channel, you know we source the majority of our products from China. The reason for that being, one, the cost, obviously. Two, because of Alibaba's trusted marketplace, we're actually able to work with vetted suppliers that have certain certifications and credibility within the Alibaba platform that actually protects us as a foreign buyer rather than just working directly, let's say someone in Europe, someone in Southeast Asia, someone in Africa. By using the Alibaba marketplace, yes, we are using the suppliers that potentially a lot of other people have access to, but we are protected on our orders. So if anything goes wrong, we can actually get our money back and are not left with our pants down, right? So the reason Alibaba is really we teach and what we use is because it's trusted. It's the second largest e-com marketplace in the world behind Amazon. The difference though in Alibaba is that you are buying wholesale products. You are not buying individual items. Alibaba does have a sister company, AliExpress, where you can buy individual items. That's not what we're talking about here. So on Alibaba, it's a completely different buying experience. You actually have to contact a supplier, explain what you want. Hopefully you are customizing your product so you're not selling something the entire market has. And then you actually are going to have to go through a negotiation and the more you negotiate, the better price you will get long term. And a lot of early sellers are not accustomed to or comfortable negotiating, you know, dollars on the table, which over the, the life of a product, which can be hundreds of thousands of units, that's a lot of money. So let's go into the exact step by step of how to use Alibaba, how to actually make purchases and how to really build a business through using the number one wholesale platform in the world. All right, so let's actually go behind the curtain and take a look at, at how to actually use the Alibaba platform, how to make sure you are not getting scammed while using it, right? Because as soon as you understand how to really filter down and eliminate potential suppliers that would be bad to work with, it really, really allows you to have much more confidence and just navigate the platform with speed knowing you have the Alibaba trade assurance uh, backing you up. So let's take, let's just say you had already done Amazon product research or product research outside of Amazon for that matter. And you were really just trying to find a supplier for, for your product, right? Dog pillow is what we're gonna use. Don't recommend selling that because Amazon Basics is in there. But anyway, let's go into kind of how Alibaba works. It's very similar to Amazon in terms of search and then results organically. One thing that's different is there's a lot fewer ads on Alibaba. You know, it makes sense. The wholesale, it's a little different than retail, right? So Alibaba doesn't want ads all over because you just pay to, to the biggest warehouse could just pay more and more. So in general, these are ranked based on how much sales history they've had, the customer reviews, similar to Amazon. Anyway, Let's go into what you want to look for. Trade assurance is the most important thing. You should never work with a manufacturer on Alibaba without trade assurance. And what trade assurance is, is a built in insurance policy where if you see trade assurance, where let's filter down by trade assurance. Now, every single manufacturer on these results has opted into the trade assurance agreement. And what that means is if you pay through Alibaba, which is standard, which you should always do, especially at the start products, so like the first couple orders of product from a manufacturer, always use this. 
If anything were to go wrong, the trade assurance essentially protects you. And let's say a shipment from overseas all of a sudden just doesn't arrive at the Long Beach port it was supposed to arrive at, they're going to refund you. As long as you submit a claim within about 30 days, I believe it is, you are completely protected. And so that there's really no other wholesale site that is even close to that benefit. Another one you want to look for is verified supplier. What this means is that Alibaba has actually gone to these warehouses and vetted their manufacturer facility and quality. So do they, are they set up to sell what they list online? It's very obvious. If it, let's say there was a furniture manufacturer listing and Alibaba went to the warehouse, it's just not big enough, it's not set up. Clearly that's fraudulent. So that's something they're inspecting. They're also inspecting quality. Do, do these, do, does this warehouse, do, do the quality materials match to what they're saying? You really, really want these two filters and just filtering by these will save you a ton of headache, right? Okay. So that's the start. The rest are good to have, but these are kind of new and a lot of suppliers just don't have the pro supplier. I think it's kind of a scheme to be honest. So. I wouldn't do that because you're going to eliminate some reputable suppliers. So let's say we were, we were going to look at this listing. So what we want to do is go to the listing and keep in mind, a very important part of Alibaba is that this price right here is not a final price. I don't want to say it doesn't mean anything, but you are going to have to negotiate. And so this price, obviously it's a huge range, right? Is really just a marketing mechanism. And so a lot of times people get spooked by the price they see. Maybe it's higher than they, they wanted, where if you actually go through and negotiate, you can get a much lower price than is listed here. So the best way to actually start contacting the supplier is just simply go here. Now, once you are actually about to reach out to these suppliers, what you really want to avoid is just asking what's the price. One, it, it just comes off as unprofessional. Two, there's a lot of questions you want to get answered. And especially if you're, you're reaching out to multiple suppliers, which you really should, you, the back and forth just will take way too much time. It'll be chaotic. You want to use something like the FBA University Supplier Contact Template. You want to come off as pro professional, give them an example product, ask the pricing at different bulk quantities, 500, 1,000, 5,000 and really ask these questions so that you are minimizing the back and forth. We'll put the template in the show notes, but just know you, you can customize this to your business, but doing this will protect your time and really make them take, make a supplier take you much more seriously. So if you were to do that, you could copy and paste that here, or you could enter. And then once you submit that, you can either continue to reach out to manufacturers individually, or you can do what's called a request for quotation, where based on the supplier's category and niche they're in, Alibaba will find, let's say 10, 15 other suppliers in the same category, send them the same information, and your inbox will be flooded with responses. Once you send your initial inquiry, it just turns into a chat. So it turns into a chat right here. Here's a bunch of my chats. Just know all conversation on your product about price, about what it is, and really anything related to your order should be done on Alibaba. That way the trade assurance will protect you. And so what you want to do as well is anytime you are about to place an order, say you've sampled the product, You've agreed on the price, you've agreed on the quantity, maybe you're ordering a couple hundred, 500, 1,000. You will have these orders, right? And so what you wanna always do is really look through the order, make sure everything matches exactly to what you agreed upon. You also should request an invoice outside of Amazon, but this is really, it's the enforceable contract and again, you really want to make sure your supplier has trade assurance because everything on the Alibaba order is enforceable via trade assurance. So those are the big things to look out for. A lot of times 
Just one huge way to not get scammed is to sample test every product. So sometimes people are, are in an absolute rush to launch their product and they forego actually sampling the, the, the product and just order it. And that's a massive risk. And you really, really need to either sample yourself if you feel like you can test it or send it to what, what's called a quality control testing expert. And what a quality control testing expert is, is a product tester. They'll also go and inspect your manufacturer's warehouse. So we work with a company called VTrust. They, they do sample inspections. They also do order inspections. So regardless of, of what product you order, your first shipment or two, you definitely want to have a, an inspection service there. You want to let your manufacturer know ahead of time so that they know they should be doing everything, you know, in line with the highest standards or they're going to get rejected. And so what we always recommend is, is get your first shipment or two inspected and then basically give the implication you will continue to get shipments inspected just so your supplier kind of stands on their toes, keeps everything tight. You don't have to give it, get every shipment with a trustworthy supplier inspected, but that's one way to protect yourself. And so just by using trade assurance, verified supplier, using a supplier contact template, and knowing that the initial price is not the final price, you will really protect yourself and be able to build